here we have part three of the solar tracker rebuild sorry I haven't actually shown you how to put it all together but it's a one-man job and it needs to be done a little bit at a time uh, I've had a couple little issues with it uh, the first issue I had was my actuator decided to go wrong and become very noisy so what I've actually done uh, I did a search on the internet over 50 pounds in England oh it's moving I was hunting for something in there so don't worry it'll always go back to the to the end position the west position uh, the the actual track the motor went wrong on the last one so I actually had a look on the internet couldn't find them very cheap then eventually located them at Maplands at 24.99 pounds which is very cheap so I bought two and I got a spare and I swapped it over and that's perfect the other thing is uh, they're best to run at 12 volt because they run slower 24 volt managed sort of jerked the actual whole unit about too much as you can see by this it just tweaks round a little bit at a time it takes about three or four hours to go back to the start position but done the night it's not a problem is it uh, this particular track that little, little uh, gadget on the front is a converted light fitting inside it I probably can't show you from here there's a little sensor in, the, in there made by Red Rock Energy in the United States his name is Dwayne who makes them uh, they're excellent they've got four wires uh, you put the sensor in a watertight container run some power to it and, and then run two wires out to your actuator which is very simple uh, as you can see my wiring is sort of being gradually tidied up I'm running that battery power here as usual uh, so you can see I've got a box here the main control box in there is all the 24 volt wiring uh, I actually added an extra one to this today and I've had to run a wire going all the way along there and that goes into the garage not very neat but it's functional and that's all that really matters uh, so I could run at 20, uh, 12 volt because I, I decided 12 was better uh, as you can see that goes right round to the, to the sort of the stop it, 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 I don't know how many degrees it does it's, it's probably I don't know getting close to uh, half a circle <laughs> basically uh, 180 degrees pretty good uh, as you can see from all the construction I've used industrial fittings on everything I've, used, I've actually decided to make this a, a, a single axis tracker uh, because uh, twin axis will come later on and I ain't got the time at the minute and single works uh, I hope you can see all that let me just come around you can see the panels are all nicely they're all fitted on with with stainless steel fittings top and bottom hooked over uh, the pole is very big now <laughs> to say the least here's another side fit side looking of it uh, if you've got any questions about this particular unit I'll, I'll answer them as, if I can uh, this is the sort of shot from this area uh, I'll just, just give me one second and I'll come back this particular unit is actually very com very compact as a 520 watts ish uh, that'll kick out about 20 amps on a good day uh, however many watts that is I think it's about 450 500 depends on what the sounds like but as you can see it's, it's a nice compact unit it sits up the corner uh, you can just let it get on with it basically uh, it doesn't take any space I've now fitted the very big pool 100 millimeter concrete filled with a base going down the ground which is about half a ton uh, I don't think the wind's going to get this this time. Uh, anyway, uh, anything else I've actually done? I've actually put some strengthening arms going across, as you can see, going up to the frame. Made out of box section alley. Made a hell of a difference to it. Uh, all the wiring goes through here, through the little points there and there and there. Goes up to a box, which is all the all the panels are connected to. The wiring, I don't think the wiring's ever got to look neat, so I've decided to, to sort of wrap it around the right place and hang out of the way. I've got proper connectors on there. These are proper, uh, what are they called now? Uh, Solar Line 2, they're called. They're the newest, latest ones. Uh, I'll show you one of them a little bit closer. And they, they, they click in together. You can actually get a tool, a little sleeve to lock them, but they just click together and they're watertight. And I've used proper cable as well. Uh, this is the bit on the fitting, I'll show you that and I've done as you can see the other bit under there I've hung it, I've, I've put it on the top and I've hung it on the bottom uh, I don't know, let's get that right again I've 
hung under the front mount that moves round and on the top of the other mount and as you see as it goes round it goes closer the the actuator you can just about see that I hope swings round so that bring that pulls around the maximum amount of uh, angle uh, anyway that's the update for now all I can do now is let it get on with it uh, oh I've got to paint it by the way because this is steel and I'm gonna actually get some hammer right on this and spend a day hammer right in the actual the steel work up on it uh, another little added thing I've done to this one, actually one other thing, on top of the actual the bit at the top, I don't know if you can see the mount, you probably can't see it very well, I put a, a uh, grease nipple on there so I can inject grease into the mount if I want to later on turn it into a dual axis tracker. Okay, have fun everybody, hope that encourages you to build trackers. Uh, if I could I'd actually build lots of them and I'd have a, I'd have a garden full of them. Right, see you later, bye.